after the collection has been taken up by the ushers and the family that's going to be presenting the gifts have assembled in the back of the church, myself and the altar servers will stand and one altar server will go down to pick up the basket containing the children's collection and will take that basket and place it on the pillar in front of the Holy Family. While he's taking it there, myself and the other servers will come and stand in front of the altar, preparing ourselves to receive the gifts that are being presented by one of the families in our parish community. Okay, let's go ahead and step down. Myself and the other servers will gather here in front of the altar as the gifts are brought forward. The collection of the people will be taken and placed in front of the pillar. Here's the bread. Will be received. Wait here. Bottle of wine. There you go. And the servers and myself will assemble behind the altar. I'll receive the bread. A prayer will be said and it will be placed upon the table. Up here. The servers are going to stand side by side here. The wine will be poured into the, the chalice and in all of the side cups. After the wine is poured, the cruet of wine, uh, empty cruet will be given to the altar server. Water will be mixed in with the wine with a prayer being said. It will be taken back. And then as the chalice is presented, there is a prayer that is said. It is placed upon the altar. And while that's being done, the altar servers are getting ready for the washing of the hands. After I say a prayer, I will simply bow, turn towards the servers, and they'll already be here waiting for me. There'll be the washing of the hands. It's a ritual part of the Mass. After that is done, the altar servers will return those uh, vessels to the credence table, at which point I will invite everyone in the congregation to stand. You'll note that the altar servers are standing side by side, hands together, and they're focusing their attention towards the altar. During the liturgy of the Eucharist, when we come to the point of completing the singing of the Holy, Holy, the altar servers will kneel down near the credence table on the first step. And they'll remain there until we enter into the institution narrative of the liturgy, at which point I will pick up the bread and I will say, take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. After the bread has been placed, the consecrated bread has been placed back in the paten, I'll pick up the chalice and I'll look at the con towards the congregation and say, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. at which point we will continue with the liturgy of the Eucharist. It's important to note that after the altar servers return the bells, that he places his hands back together and all the servers focus 100% of their attention towards the altar for the continuation of the celebration of the Mass. At times in our community we celebrate a bilingual Mass in both English and Spanish. And if the liturgy of the Eucharist is in Spanish, I would use these words, but the use of the bells occur in the exact same way. The priest picks up the bread and says in Spanish, Tomen y coman todos de él, porque ese es mi cuerpo que será entregado por ustedes. Likewise, the priest will pick up the cup, looking at the congregation, and he will say, Tomen y beban, 
todos de él, porque ese es el cáliz de mi sangre, sangre de la alianza nueva eterna, que será derramada por ustedes y por todos, por el perdón de los pecados. Hacen esto en conmemoración mía. The use of the bells and the actions of the altar servers remain the same in both the English language and the Spanish language. Full attention is being focused towards the altar. At this point in the liturgy after the consecration, the bread and wine will be picked up, presented to people um, with these words, through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, May all glory and honor be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. And we sing the great amen. Following the singing of the great amen, and the vessels are placed back on the altar, I will introduce the Our Father, inviting everyone to stand and use these or similar words. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to say. We unite our hands So we will speak the Our Father, then after the Our Father there will be a doxological prayer. We will conclude with, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. At this point, I will say a prayer introducing the sign of peace. I will look towards everyone. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Now let us turn to each other and share in this sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. And then at this point, I'm going to take the sacramentary, and the altar servers will take the sacramentary, and they will place the sacramentary in its proper place in the bottom shelf of the credence table. They will bring up the bowls that will be placed up here at the altar. And if it is necessary, I will go to the tabernacle to retrieve the consecrated host um, to assist us in the distribution of Holy Communion.